Welcome, everybody. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this equation of the lips um, by determining the foci, the vertices, as well as the covertices. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to put it into one of our standard equations um, that we have for an ellipse. And one thing we notice about those standard equations is they're always equal to 1. So the first thing I want to do is set this equation equal to 1. So to do that, I'm going to divide by 36. And remember, when you're dividing by 36, the 36 divides into both these terms. So therefore, I have 9 times x plus 1 squared over 36 plus 12 times y plus 3 squared over 36 equals 1. Now, I can simplify these fractions. 9 over 36, that divides, or that reduces to um, x plus 1 over 4. Plus, this is going to reduce to y plus 3 squared over 3 equals 1. So now we can determine that the larger of numbers of our denominators is under the x squared. And that is going to be your value of a squared, where a represents the distance from the center to your vertices. So let's go over and write the standard equation that we have, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And in this case, we have the larger number, which would be a squared under the x and b squared under y. Now remember, b represents the distance from your center to your covertex. So just by giving this information, I now can determine that the center is h comma k, which in this case, the center is the opposite of h, opposite of k. So opposite of 1 is negative 1. Opposite of positive 3 is negative 3. So now I know the center. Cool, right? And I'll graph that in just a second. Um, the next part of information is we know that the larger number is a squared. So I can say a squared equals 4. So therefore, a equals 2 when you take the square to both sides. b squared equals 3. So therefore, b equals the square root of 3. And the last thing we're going to need to know is what c squared is. Now, c squared is the distance from the center to both of your, fo to your foci. However, we don't have anything for c squared in our equation. But we do have a relationship that says c squared equals a squared minus b squared. And that relationship works for all ellipses. So since I know what a squared and b squared is, I can say c squared equals um, 4 minus 3. So c squared equals 1. Therefore, c equals 1. OK, so I think we got enough information. Let's start graphing. So the first thing I'll do is I'll graph the center, which is at negative 1, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. All right, the next thing I'm going to graph is, oh, so I know the center. Now remember, since my a squared is under the x, my major axis is going to be horizontal. And why is that so important? The reason why it's so important, because on your major axis lies the center, the foci, and the vertices. So when I know that a, which is a distance um, when I might note my a is 2, which is the distance from their center to both vertices, I know from my center I'm going to go left, le well, left for me, but right 2 for you, and left 2 going horizontally. I'm not going to do that vertically because the major axis is horizontal because the a squared is under the x. So, to find, so if here's my center, to find my two vertices, I'll go to the right 2 and to the left 2. To um, my c is going to be my foci, which is just going to be to the right one and to the left one. right? Because all your center, your foci, and your vertices all lie on this horizontal major axis. The only thing that does not lie on the major axis is going to be our covertice, which is a distance of 3, or square root of 3. And square root of 3, um, you want to think about that. You know, what is the, going to be the decimal approximation of that? Um, well, it's not going to be, you know, it has to be larger than 1 because 1 squared is 1. And it has to be smaller than 2 because 2 squared is 4. So it's probably going to be some, you know, 1 in a decimal. And really just kind of estimate um, where it's going to be, covertice. OK? So now I can graph my ellipse through there. And now the last thing we want to do is let's write in the information that we know, at least for those exact same points. So the center is negative 1, negative 3. My vertices, remember, are just to the left 2 and to the right 2 of the center. So all I'm simply doing is going to add 2 and subtract 2 from the x coordinate of the center. So that's going to give me negative 3, comma, negative 3, and positive 1, comma, negative 3. The foci 
is the same thing. You're just going to be adding and subtracting the distance of c, which is 1. So the foci is just going to be subtracting 1 from negative 1, which would be negative 2, negative 3, and then adding 1, which is 0, comma negative 3. Um, however, the covertices, now we're not adding left or right. We're going to be adding up or down. So I'm going to take the square root of 3 and add and subtract it from negative 3. So that would be negative 1, comma, negative 3 plus the square root of 3, and negative 1, comma, negative 3 minus the square root of 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you identify um, the center, the vertices, the foci, and the covertices, as well as graph your ellipse. Thanks.